up action figure enthusiasts and toy collectors out there. It is time for an all new episode of Alternate Heads, the Toy Talking Podcast. Thank you all for joining us out there. We appreciate you coming by. Yes, we're still under stay at home conditions. Granted, we all live in the uh, great state of Texas. We have decided that we're just going to just take it slow on the whole getting back out to society. Although, we um, met up, I think, what should have been free comic book day and went out and kind of, you know, shopped a little bit under some diff- under some clothes, clothes practices. Anyway, thank you all for joining the show. My name is Jason the X. I got my toy bros here. That is Bryce right there with an, that is an old mug. That is an uh- old I am not going anywhere. I'm going to stay right here and drink my Bantha milk while you guys uh, catch a cold or you know where worse. You're getting that milk from anyway. <laughs> and uh, we have the child uh, guest starring on the show. Uh, he's very cute. Um, Dude, it's adorable. I don't. I. I. Your whole is it? It's one one scale, right? Pretty much. That's pretty pretty much, much. Yeah. That's pretty much one one scale. And you got that at uh, you found that at Target, right? Found it at a Walmart. Really, Walmart, huh? Yeah, we Is were it... out grocery shopping for the day. Or no, we were we, we were out killing time uh, because my wife had to go get her car service. So we were killing time while we waited. Walked into a Walmart and they were literally putting them out. So I got them. I got to open the box they came in and pulled one out. I might have to go get one for my child. So good luck. I haven't seen him since. Well, so much for that. Anyway, uh, yeah. So we're still under stay at home. Uh, I think major. I mean, you are. Well, I'm not. I go into work tomorrow. Yeah, oh, I, I work from home. But um, so there are stores we can go to in Texas now. And just to kind of get out, because we've all been kind of cooped up, we visited uh, a couple stores in the area. And we actually got some new acquisitions. Um, yeah, but Bryce, surprisingly you, uh, enough. You were busy off doing stuff. So um, have, have you gotten anything since the last show, man? Are you talking to me? Yes, have you gotten yeah. anything? Oh. Have you acquired Sorry, because yeah, right. we're getting right yeah. into new acquisitions, man. You got anything since the show? I know, uh, I know that Nate got some, so we're good there. Yeah. Oh, I, um, I was, uh, I was desperate for some for a while, so I've got quite a bit of stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. what is that? Whoa, 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 whoa! Don't, don't tease me. Well, hello, hello, sports fans. Whoa. That is a nice IG uh, eighty-eight. Is uh, where's the child? <laughs> That's the wrong IG droid. Yeah, that IG <laughs> droid would have just killed him. So, uh, out of here. which line is that one from? Is that a is that a twelve inch? Yes, it is. Oh wow! That... Twelve inch. What line is that from? Uh, I think it's called Power of the Force. Oh, that is oh, oh that is the uh, ninety six ninety seven line. I think it started. Or uh, I think it's actually started I wonder... in ninety five. Yeah. I want to say it's a little bit older than that. I mean, I'm sorry, uh, newer than that. Isn't it like from 97 or 2000, something like that? No, no, no. It's it's 95. I know because I was working at a Toys R Us when those released. Okay. Okay. You so worked I, at a Toys R Us? Oh, yeah. I totally worked. At, in high school, I worked at a Toys R Us. No. I, I was there for the big... The more power, you know. I was there for the huge Power Rangers uh, drop and also when Power of the Force came out. But, yeah, that's a cool-looking... Uh, Cool looking bot you got there. Where'd you get that from? Uh, this is from the internet. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. the internet. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, all of mine that you're going to see are from the internet. I mean, that's Woo! where a lot of us have gotten our stuff from. I mean, yeah, that's a lot of us were digging deep. Yeah. Well, I thought it only logical to acquire Commander Spot and... And Commodore Kirk. Dude. Ooh. These are from 1979. And these are 12 inch Migos. And Look at the boxes I in that love them. Condition. Oh, they're fantastic. They're mint in box. It's one thing to be mint in box. Those boxes look. Bryce, I'm going to need you to do me a favor. I'm going to need you to stand up and remove your shirt. I need to make sure you aren't missing a kidney. <laughs> Dude, the, that's uh, that's great shape in those boxes. Yeah, oh, I love if it. he does that as well, we'll get the we'll get the more of a, a sex appeal on this I show. Hate you we know? didn't see that like in person. Yeah, they're they're fantastic. The boxes are great. I love they these look things. great. 
Yeah. I can't believe yeah. they are that good. Yeah, I'm surprised awesome. they haven't just crumbled to dust in your hands as you held them. <laughs> I'm really, I was, I was really hoping I wouldn't drop them. Like um, these, they're, these are mitten, and they just fall apart. <laughs> <laughs> and one more fun one to show. Oh, V. The, the enemy oh. visitor. Oh, wow, that, that head's a little small. Once again, mitten box. Where are you getting your mitten box from? You know, if he tells you that, he'd have to kill you. I'm just saying. I'm surprised. V was like 80, 84, 83? Uh, yeah, 84. Good good memory, Jason. Yeah. That's right. Man. Yeah. yeah. Don't run. We are your friends. Wrong movie. Oh, Wrong dude, franchise. That, that movie scared the crap out of me because I was six. <laughs> I, uh, I watched it all week. <laughs> I was I love, not born. I love that series. Yeah, you, you you didn't watch the new V. The new V wasn't uh, compar uh, comparable to the old V. Uh, I, I didn't watch the new V. I, I want to. I tried to. Uh, I failed. Okay. Uh, so that's all you got, uh, Nate. What did you pick up this week? I know some yeah. of ours are going to be the same. So we'll go with the least of the stuff. Uh, I'm only going to show off one of them. I went ahead and I picked up the new. Uh, oh, I should have given Bryce little the basic <laughs> Scooby Doo figures based off the new movie. So I got basically the whole set. I am surprised at how tall these are, because this is like a like almost a five inch. Because he's a Marvel Legend, which is why the Scooby Doo van will fit your Marvel Legends. I just couldn't find the Mystery Machine. Uh, but did so, you get Captain I mean, Caveman? I did. I got Captain oh. Caveman. I got. <laughs> Uh, hold on. Oh, goodness. You're going to make me dig through it. But yeah, I got, I did get Captain Caveman. Uh, we came with the new updated version of Dino Mutt. Oh my God. That looks, why, yeah. why are you thumbing that down? That looks good. It's, it's ridiculous. Uh, we did get, of course, we got Scooby-Doo. Uh, the one I did not get, I did not get the Dick Dastardly. I couldn't find one there that I liked. Um, we did get the updated Blue Falcon. Uh, problem with mine is they put two parts of the same uh, leg on, so I can't bend this knee back. Whatever, oh, it's geez. a basic figure. It's not a big deal. But we got Blue Falcon, and then, of course, we finished it off with Muttley. Yes. So, so I love Muttley. Got, we got some basic Scooby Doo figs, but I love it. Laugh. I <laughs> <laughs> I um I did manage to find the new anime hero Naruto figures as well. Oh, I didn't know you picked these. They those go up. with. I picked these up at Target. So they're they're pretty good. I like them. They uh they've got some issues, but of course, what twenty dollar line doesn't? I mean, same uh, DBZ articulation. Pretty similar. Uh, pretty similar. I will so say the that the difference me. between them is, is they do have the drop down hips. Oh, really? They did the drop down. They did the drop down hips on the Naruto figures, so they all have drop down hips. So that's kind of cool. I like Get them in a to better be standard post. with the GI Joe line. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Uh, during our toy hunt yesterday, because we went out and decided to go to places, I did find the new Diamond Select End Game Iron Man, and I had to put on the snapping finger. Because, I mean, then that's how I have him posed. It is a good-looking uh, I'm. I, it does look good. No more diamonds. Big, it's sturdy. Me. Surprisingly has very sturdy joints everywhere. Mm. Always hit or miss when it comes to diamond select. You never know what you're going to get. You can get an amazing Marvel figure like that, or you could get really bad Castlevania figures. I'm still mad. <laughs> I'm, I'm mad about the Avatar figures, man. Um, I did pick up the NECA Shape of Water, which I've never actually seen this movie. I heard it's really good, though. Abe Sapien's but distant cousin. I just got the I got the amazing-looking NECA figure, and as Cora said, it's her fish husband. So, I mean, I took her fish husband home. Did you see oh, the you got that? In? Go ahead, Jason. I, I said, did you see Shape of Water, Bryce? I did. I loved it. You know how I wanted that movie to end, right? How? I wanted that I mean, movie to end... Like an end credit scene with Hellboy and Abe Sapien talking, and Abe was, and that was my cousin Daryl. 
<laughs> you, <and then> this, <laughs> you got some weird family, Abe. And then that's it. Just, it and I want Ron that Perlman would, and Doug Jones. <laughs> that would have been great. Absolutely. Yeah. Abe Sapien should have been in there. Uh, 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 that would have been funny. Uh, Nathan, are you going to... Are you gonna put uh, the shape of water figure in your aquarium? Man, I, I gotta tell you, I I wouldn't know where I would put them, but I don't have room now. So wait until I get like a house or a bigger apartment. Okay. Uh, I did pick up when I got the, the Naruto figures though, I did find the new McFarlane toys, Wonder Woman figures. So we have them based off the new movie. So we got Gal Gadot here and then we've got the one in the golden armor and the golden armor one actually looks nice. I just have no context behind this armor. So, I, mean, I mean, she wore something like that in Kingdom Come in the comics, so... Right. Probably what it's based off of, but, you know, we'll yeah. have to wait until we see her decide to ride lightning using her whip. I saw I saw pictures of those figures on the internet, and in the in the profile, I thought she looked like Gal Gadot. It, I thought they it do look cool. better. So, the, the promotional pictures that we had originally got, I was wary about them, because I was going to collect... I'm, like, kind of picking and choosing the McFarlane line. Uh, because I don't know which DC figures I'm going to like because they're not, uh, you know, Mattel's always got a soft spot in my heart for those, but they were, those were some crappy figures at the same time, but I've got a, I've got a box of the DC figures now. So I'm kind of picking and choosing, but those look nice. So they look, uh, I did finally get in the mail from Hasbro Pulse who finally beat something to the punch. Barely <laughs> part like I say barely, cause we'll get to it. But I got the new updated Bespin Luke from the Star Wars Black series that came in from Hasbro Bolt. It looks it looks good. I, I really like it. Dallas but... Vintage while we were over there. And... Yeah, I, they had some of them at Dallas Vintage, but we weren't going to pay uh, Dallas Vintage prices for the new Star Wars figures. But you know, Bespin looks good. Pose him doing a handstand. That's not the right one. That comes later. We'll get to that. We'll okay. get to that. It was a big show uh, then we went to, while we were at Dallas Benches, though, we did pick up the Baby Yoda or the child slash the asset. So we were checking out. I had my Shape of Water. You had your figure, which I know you'll show off. Uh, and once we got to the front, they had a box of the little tiny child. And we were like, it's $2 more than what we were paying online. Might as well cancel our orders. So we pulled out our phones and canceled our orders right then and there. No, I was like, hey, as long as you're in there, cancel. <laughs> uh... Well, it's because we share one. But, uh, yeah, so, like, we have the little baby, which is great. I have him with IG-11 because I don't know where I put my Mando, but he's here somewhere. Uh, but then we called it a day, me and you. We were like, all right, we're done. So I decided to go to Target to pick up my wife some tea. And while I was there, I found the rest of those way, uh, vintage 40th anniversary waves. So I've got the updated Lando face sculpt. It looks great. I do like it. Looks, looks so much very better well. than mine on the shelf. Now I feel the need to replace it. Yeah, no, it's, it's, I have Damn. both figures pulled out. The updated Lando head is amazing. Damn. The exact same body, but man, that Lando head, it's just, it's, it's flawless. Uh, of course, I found the Rebel Hoth Trooper. With not trooper, but over soldier, but, customizable options. <laughs> yeah, but this is the only one that they had, and this one has the beardless look. But it also came with this extra scarf on top, so you could actually. I put the scarf on, and then I just did that. So I mean, I'm happy with it, and I'm gonna get the bearded one because that one looks cool. And plus, I might as well get another one. No big deal. I like that sculpt. And then, of course, the one I was looking the most forward to is Snow Speeder Luke. Brand new sculpt. It is not the same as the X-Wing Fighters, Luke. Completely different sculpt. All new. Very cool. Very happy. I'm now done with the new 40th anniversary stuff. I did see the other ones there. I saw the Yoda, which, I mean, it's just them making more money off that Yoda mold, and we'll talk about that later, too. But we also found they had the R2-D2. Uh, they had the Ad. They had the... God, they had the actual, like... TIE fighter, whatever, uh, Lando and they had Leia, but I was, I passed on those cause I already have those figures technically. So there's no reason for me and I don't collect them on card back. And then I went to movie trading company today and managed to come across the last two in the Amber collection. So I got another dinosaur, but now we got blue. So pretty I cool. I like the Raptor. 
<laughs> Man, I love the Velociraptor, so I immediately dug up the other one so I could have them side by side. Wasn't that figure of the year, one got, of the figures of the year for us? I don't know if it made figure of the year. I mean, but it was. 10. I want to say it was. Um, it it was either top ten or an honorable mention. Mm. It was one of the two. I don't remember. That's but a good Velociraptor. Blue was great. I love it. And then, of course, we have Owen Grady, so Chris Pratt. Uh, I mean, I'm still sad that they took away those double-jointed elbows, but it looks good. Uh, it almost looks like they put a less of a good quality Marvel Legends head sculpt on it. The hair is almost identical, though, but it, it's definitely Chris Pratt. It came with a little knife. It came with the stand. I'm very happy with this one. You know, more Jurassic Park figures for me. And then Jason and I got this new figure. Um, <laughs> lots of lots of struggles here. We'll we'll go into detail. Uh, GameStop is the bane of my existence now. Not only is existence. their not only is their corporate office horrible. They kept me on hold for three hours, argued with me, hung up, and then I hung up again when I called back again, like a week later, an hour and a half later. When we pre-ordered this figure a month ago, it took forever for it to finally get to us but we finally got the new mortal Kombat 11 mcfarland spawn figure and, and this thing is amazing and i gotta say this fixes everything i hate about mcfarland action figures because it is severely posable look at this wow Man, all of the new mcfarland figures can do that i'm just saying not my doom guy Mo okay not doom but like a majority of those figures can do the same thing like Look at that kick on Wonder Woman. That's that's nothing. <laughs> it's better than Spawn, and you love Spawn. <laughs> so, but man, this figure is amazing. I'm really curious to know about the one that's coming out later that has a mace. I mean, it's the same exact figure, but we just get the mace instead of the sword. But I will say that this figure completely changed my mind on the upcoming Kickstarter, which we will talk about in a little bit I, it's it's very fun to handle because the joints are very easy Dirty, to work but with but also they're not they're, tight they're not tight yeah and like i said nailing poses like this classic spider-man pose that mcfarland is known for and just just the way the figure moves I, like i said this is one of those times where i wish we were all in the studio so bryce could see what exactly we're talking about yeah i hate this the posability. Is, like the sculpt on this thing is amazing too yeah. like the ribs the tatters it's a soft plastic for this cape too so it doesn't get in the way it's a great fit this, so. this bond figure is very very much so far on my list for top 10 right. awesome so, getting into uh, i just noticed that you never uh took down nathan drake <laughs> i i posed them for I'm you i'm leaving him there he's never coming down from there he, he needs to stay there and dangle like he normally would from the game so anyway i appreciate that it makes me feel good about putting them there all right, keep going. Your turn. All right, so uh, this um, new acquisitions for me, I did get some of the new Studio Series stuff. Uh, I got the Sentinel Prime, which is very good. They have an upgrade kit by DK Designs. It gives him a better sword and his shield. But this is a really good fig. Um, say what you will about the Bayverse movies that sucked. Um, this is a pretty good hey, thing. I, and I like here's it. a question for you. What? That upgrade kit that gives him a sword, do you think that, it, depending on how good that sword is, would you consider ordering it and replacing it, the, the sword that Thanos is supposed to hold? Well, I'll be damned. The it sword's almost, it's identical. It would, it would look different, but on it's... the shelf, it's going to look better than the actual uh, sword that it came with. I actually don't even display that Thanos on my shelf, so it's, it's, it's all good. Well, that's because the 10-year anniversary one that they gave us from uh, that three-pack is so much better. Yeah. So Anyway, back to uh, just... Uh, I did get the, uh, the Bumblebee when he was a Jeep in the Bumblebee movie, and I like this figure. Beep, beep, Bama Jeep. It's very, it's very small, and it's just... It's very playable, and I like this figure a lot. I wasn't even going to get him. But it was like our first venture out because uh, our good friend Cora needed to go to the grocery store, and they had him there. I'm like, I haven't bought anything in a while. I gotta, I gotta feed the itch. <laughs> so that, that was me with every other figure. I was just like going onto eBay and Amazon. Like I've got like six Amazon orders coming in, but I didn't know how long the quarantine was gonna last, and I need got more Fortnite crap coming. See, I use my Amazon um, to get a bunch of figs that I didn't get, like. 
the 80th anniversary Marvel figures that you told me were so good. And then uh, I told you they were good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. I, I got them now. Okay. I, and I'm making a shelf. Uh, while we were over at DVT, though, I have been having my eye on this, this ratchet from the third movie because he has a gun. And surprisingly, this one goes for like 40 bucks a piece. So they had him for a fair price. I was like, okay, I'll get that guy. Um, also, I got the spawn. Also from DVT, the one that I'm taking the one to. that I have. I mean, I'm getting rid of all mine. Now, see, you have that Storm Collectibles um, Sub Zero, and I am a huge wrestling fan. And recently, one of my all-time favorites retired, and that is Jushin Thunder Liger, who has the most anime theme song ever. He was a he finally retired. Um, I don't know how long right he's been wrestling since I was a kid. And uh, Storm Collectibles honored him with a wrestling figure. It looks very good. It's very poseable. I love what they do with Storm Collectibles. Um, kind of yeah. reminds me a lot of what uh, McFarlane does. But, Storm uh, Collectibles okay. uses that softer plastic that we really, really like with the posability. Like, they're super expensive. We saw Bane while we were there. And it was very tempting. However, I didn't want to spend the money on Bane. But if they had Doomsday, I might have done it. I like that he has the bendy wire in the cape so you can get to all the... And the cape comes off. You just take it off and then you can have a, a Jushin Thunder Liger wrestle your uh, other figs. And uh, No, Fry, don't fall. So I was that happy was about the that. You would order. The other thing I've been doing is, um, since uh, for Lightning Collection, I've been doing a lot of 3D... Uh, Buying a number of 3D prints and uh, completing them. I did the Tonfas for Zeo Blue, which I colored. Well, I, I'm sorry, I painted. I didn't color them with a crayon. But um, <laughs> with that... That's what, that's what I do, okay? Yeah. So, um, <laughs> because he only came with a blaster and the open version of the sword, I also got a collapsed version of the sword just to fill that empty space in his, um, in his holster there. And uh, the guy I was uh, buying them from, he also had the blaster that combines with the Zeopod, and I painted this up. I've been doing a lot of miniature paintings, so. And some Good job. swords that from uh, Lost Galaxy, the uh, Quasar Sabers, and these just come with, uh, they're just uh, white printed plastic, and I've been working hard to try to get these look good. I'm going to show them to you guys, and then show them over here, so. Did uh, did you end up getting a bigger brush to paint with? I got a bigger brush for my hand, but not uh, the most challenging one that I've done so far, though. Now, if you know the size of a morpher that they use, it's about the size of their hand. I also have a 3D print for that. And I'm going to get it close to this camera over here. And you can see I'm trying to get this done but I was able to outline the black and the silver. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more custom weapons and uh, 3d print, uh, 3d printed weapons and um, painting them up. I'm really having fun with it. Oh, the, the one that I'm most proud of is uh, dino charge. I painted up the <laughs> armor piece and his uh, T-Rex smasher. Nice. That looks great. I, I'm actually very proud of this, honestly, because I, I don't do a lot. It looks good. Yeah, so, you know, and my wife, she was like, who, you know, is all like your stupid little toy collecting habit. She was like, wow, that looks really good. So, the next, uh, the next challenge I'm doing though is, there are uh, Gabaru calibers that have no paint on them. I'm fixing these, Nate. So, I'm fixing. This I believe thing. you. The I one, believe in you. The one side that has like no paint on it, I'm gonna fix this up. Yep. Anyway, those are all my acquisitions for the week. Uh, I am and... going to backtrack for me because I forgot two. Oh. I uh, did get from Entertainment Earth just the one wild child from Marvel Legends Age of Apocalypse Wave. The only one they gave me. The other five will come in May and then apparently Morph will come in June, which makes no sense. It sounds like I'm canceling another order because I'm going to inevitably find those in store beforehand. Oh, and I have uh, to also tell you that you do not have this lightning collection figure in your collection. I have an armorless Black Ranger right here. Yes, this came directly from Hasbro. This is a Black Ranger. Nobody has this yet, so I just want to point that out. That this is uh this is the figure. Hey man, that's a that's a nice custom you got. I <laughs> uh, I had to paint the chest because all the white plastic was stuck to his shield, so I had to repaint his chest. And the armbands, 
All I did was cover them up with the black electrical tape. You know, I'm glad you're talking custom work because, um, you know, as, as everyone remembers, there's my custom Nathan figure from when I had short hair. But I had to make him a, a very, very annoying friend who likes to judge him. So, I mean, you know. <laughs> Is that supposed to be me? <laughs> <laughs> Slowly working on it. But, yeah, I was going to make both of you eventually. Oh, my <laughs> Get God. Started. Never, you used an Us one of the Uso brothers. Yeah, it is. Well, I can, I cut off the hair. I'm working on it. You know, funny story though, because they're Samoan. We actually saw their father when I was back in the Navy. We saw their father in a in a in a sushi restaurant, and of course we were like, "Oh, there's Rikishi over there!" And he comes over and he speaks to us. He puts his hand on my shoulder and he sees like all the sushi I've eaten, and he goes, "Damn, brother, us Samoans like to eat." I didn't <laughs> say a word. <laughs> Same word. I was like, yeah. All my all my uh brothers in the Navy though, they were just like, yeah, right, us Samoans. Us Samoans. <laughs> but nobody mm -hmm. said anything. We were we were blessed to be visited by Rikishi. So ironic that you used one of his sons as a head mold for me. Thank you, Nate. I want to see that when it's complete. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll I'll get to it. I haven't worked on it in a while because I hadn't figured out what I was gonna do with all the rest of the parts and if I wanted to get a different body mold, but so what we'll custom see. head can we use for Bryce? Please. I'm still digging. I, I was going to make one of my wife's because she wanted one. And then I was going to find one for Bryce. And then I was going to use those as our, as a, like a reversion of our alternate heads logo. Do we just but look through I, our, our bag of Marvel Legends heads and figure out which one is closest to him? Man, I don't know. Like I, I, I was thinking, I was kind of mm. sticking with the rest of the regulars, but it's, it's tough, man. It's, it's going to take an awfully handsome man. Oh, an awfully I mean, I, I, I believe in. I believe we can find it. I mean, I mean, they just. Have you seen the new wrestling figures they're gonna make? It's gonna come up. Oh yeah. Oh oh, I forgot one. I did get the Imperial Pro Droid. Put that down. What? It actually looks amazing in person. I almost got it when I saw it at Target today. Yeah, this but is. Then resisted. I, I really like this. Guys, I want that figure. I want that. Get one for me if you see it. Yes. I know where to get. I know where to get one. They're exclusive. I they're exclusive. You can get them off Amazon, but uh. Yeah, they're making it out. I to found the store it in. Now. I found it in Target today. I, I love this about it. Like, look at the antenna. You, uh, if you push one down, they both go down. So, and then you raise them back up. It's actually, as you can hear, it's like on a ratchet or something. So that's cool. And the I didn't know this were available yet. The, uh, yeah, the they. I, I saw them officially today. I think it's supposed to be part of the May Fourth release that's supposed to be coming out because they always do new releases. But I'm pretty right. sure that it's supposed to be this one. Then there's like movies and stuff, and then it's the anniversary card back stuff that I already showed. That's supposed to be on May the fourth, but here, you know, here we are. And all of the arms are very nicely articulated too, so you'll like this, Bryce. Yeah, it looks it looks just like the movie, and I that's iconic. That's fantastic. <laughs> Almost breaks it. <laughs> Almost dropped it. So, all right, I think we got everything there. So yeah, custom work and new figs and everything. So of course. With all the stuff going on right now, we knew things were going to get canceled. But San Diego Comic-Con has been canceled for 2020. It's a shame. It was their 50th anniversary show. This thing is just hard all around. But, I mean, the public safety is more important as much as we love our conventions and everything. But a big part of San Diego Comic-Con, of course, as us as collectors, we get to view new things and scramble for things that we may or may not get. I'm, I'm, it's, it's devastating, but I think with our digital age, it's not going to hurt these companies to show what their products are going to be. I think they should get together a better presentation than we saw from Hasbro the Black Series this week with... Um, God, that was, that was hard to watch. We put, a, you know, it's... When we were... It was even worse to read the comments, okay? When we were up and running, we put together studio quality shows with professional lighting, cameras, and sound gear. And it actually made us, made me feel proud for what we do when we're in studio, okay? Because these guys are just like off their laptop microphones and laptop I'd like cameras. to point out that our sketches weren't nearly as painful to watch as theirs. Like, oh, someone's at the door. Let me go get it. So, uh... 
also, you know, thank you guys for participating in something where we do, we do put together a high quality production. But I'm hoping that this year they are putting some time, money, and effort into a better presentation to show us the stuff that we will be getting. Hell, give us a ring. I, I'll tech one of them for you if they send us some stuff. <laughs> so here's, here's a question for us then. Um, we, we were kind of briefly talking about this before the show. Uh, I know that NECA is still going to reveal what they would reveal at San Diego, but they're waiting until May, late May, early June, just the same time that San Diego was supposed to come out. Right. So they're going to find a way to reveal all of their stuff. And apparently the things they revealed at Toy Fair was only like a fourth of what they want to reveal this year. Oh, no. Uh, or like a third. They said that they only revealed a small portion of what they want to reveal. Oh. Uh, but here's the thing, though. So I can expect Hasbro, uh, Mattel, McFarlane, all of those type of companies to not give us their San Diego reveals until San Diego was supposed to happen. But what do we do about their exclusives? Are they going to tell us what those are? What now? Because we would have to know ahead of time. It's uh, a good question. Um, I think any company is holding back because one thing that we saw WonderCon do uh, when they were, because they of course got canceled as well. They did some digital um, meetups or whatever and had like celebrities come in and you know, kind of do an at-home thing and have the fans yeah, ask a questions lot of them and everything. Did that. So I see them holding until the weekend of San Diego Comic-Con and they'll have something, the SDCC digital experience. And we'll still have those times and everything, but I don't think we're going to see anything until San Diego Comic-Con, unfortunately. I mean, I'm, I'm still, I mean, Hasbro's got my money. I'm going to be there first thing when they wake up, uh, when I wake up and that stuff goes on sale so I can get us our exclusives. But same thing with probably NECA, but it's really only Hasbro and NECA that we get exclusives from, isn't it? Uh, no, not at all. There's plenty of people that do exclusives. But well, the ones the that we actually get. But here, those exclusives can be purchased for the first time on the floor of the con. And that's kind of the appeal. You wait in line or you get your ticket, so you go there and you get your stuff. Sales of these items should start happening the weekend of San Diego Comic Con. I'm sorry. That's just what yeah, I believe. Yeah, but that, that's the reason I ask that is because what it, it's usually a week before the convention that they tell us what we're supposed to be getting. So that way we can decide if we want it. Not, I always thought we didn't get anything until they showed it because no, they, they always revealed it ahead of time because it wasn't like the day of where me and you were like, Oh, turns out we're getting a Zeo gold and mighty Warfarin red Ranger set. We knew that ahead of time. Mm. That's why we were like, we got to get this. Well, I don't, like I said, everything is thrown. Okay, so truthfully, everything is thrown into chaos now, and we have no idea what the way of the world is going to be in this non SDCC world. I see, like, I, I, I do see them holding off until the actual event and having this digital experience. And I guess, I don't know, because what you're saying makes sense for people to want to get their wares out in front of the public eye before everybody else. Yeah, because especially if you're going to lose all of the money that you're going to be making on the actual convention floor, you would assume that you'd want to at least get the word out there that this is going to happen, which is, of course, going to make it difficult for us to buy. Like, anything that's Marvel-related, we'll probably have to, like... It, me and you, we might have to break it up this year. Hey. All right, sorry for the interruption. I have children. Anyway, Bryce, what news do you have this week? <laughs> well... Let's start off with NECA, and they showed Ooh. their 40th anniversary packaging, which I absolutely love. It's a callback to their 1979 packaging with the Alien 18-inch uh, figure that they had at the time. I love the prototype uh, concept Xenomorph, and I also love the Ripley with Jonesy and Dallas. I uh, I never collected the Alien ones because I'm not a, like I, I love the movies, but I just have no interest in collecting Alien figures. That said, I missed out on Ripley, and that's one of the ones I did want, so I will be getting this one. And it's like I've said before, I love seeing package shots because that just means they're just so much closer to being in our hands. So I'm, I'm ready. I'm going to get that. Yeah, Ripley. I think they're gorgeous. It looks good. Yeah. Okay, uh, moving on, uh, let's talk about uh, if you're part of the Migo Ambassador Group, speaking of, of uh, weird stuff, uh, like aliens. Um, 
I highly recommend uh, joining the Meagle Ambassador Facebook group. Uh, they have an update on the well-dressed fly figure, That's and it. I love it. Uh, in mid-June, you can now put that fly, hopefully, if we can get it uh, shipped to us in time. Hopefully, uh, we'll have it this summer, and you can put that fly in your sister's soup and watch her cry. Yeah, you put in your face in soup. <laughs> That's what I would do. That's what I would do. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Migo, hopefully we're going to see a lot of Migo product in June. Uh, moving on, uh, FTC uh, has told us that your Green Lantern is about to have company. Uh, you can now get, hopefully, they're in development is, uh, is what they've announced. That we, have, we don't have any prototypes yet, but uh, we have the Immortal Guardians from OA who can help guard your toy shelf. Uh, when they when they finally uh, climb down off the uh, FTC warehouse shelf. Guy Gardner or Bust? Sorry. <laughs> I got a Guy Gardner retro cloth figure. Oh, there is? Oh. Yeah, made by, Re made by Mattel Retro Action about 10 years ago. I've got one. It's great. Is it his green um, suit or is it his gold or is it his gold ring? Uh, it's, it's a green suit, okay. green ring. It's the, it's the vest. I want somebody to do the one where you have the gold ring anyway. Yeah, I understand. Well, you're going to have to wait. All right. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. FTC also announced they're going to do the, uh, golden age phantom, uh, silver age, excuse me, silver age phantom zone criminals, uh, that Superboy and Superman encountered, uh, Zod, General Zod with four, uh, Feora and Jaxer. Uh, so you're gonna get those three figures in their military uniforms is what it would seem from the Ooh. prototype art or from the uh, actual uh, archived art from DC Comics. Uh, FTC also announced that we're getting the Justice League America Shadow Pact Justice League Dark member Blue Devil who was uh, invented in 1984, uh, 36 oh, I years ago. Yeah, I like the Blue Devil. I, I hope this figure turns out great because uh, I've always thought he had a great uh, look to him. So when you get your Blue Devil, hopefully in about a year, if FTC releases him soon, uh, he'll help you find demons in your house and banish them to hell. Maybe we'll see something during SDCC weekend or something. Uh, FTC does weekend? not... FTC Figures Toy Company does not uh, show their wares at San Diego Toy Fair uh, or San Diego Comic Con. I'm sorry. I mean, they, I wish they did. It's it's all digital now. They could. Well, uh, for some reason, they like to handle all their all their own media mm -hmm. through their own social media. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. All right. So there's that. All right. Uh, I have something uh, of great interest to Monster. Uh, toy fans. Um, the company that spawned That's the fun. figure called Undead Fred back in 2005 is back. And that company is called Castaway Toys. Okay, I see. I am super excited about Castaway Toys coming back. That's David Lee and Jason Shearmeyer. Uh, they have teamed back up to uh, celebrate Castaway Toys' 15th anniversary by releasing a new figure, a new limited edition figure that is uh, straight out of the Bayou Swamp. Uh, you can call him Mr. Saturday. You can call him the Flim Flam Man. You can call him the Le Negotiator or the Deal Maker. I love the way this figure looks. I think he's awesome. Yeah. They're limited. They're limited to 50, guys, and guess what? I claimed number 46. Whoa! Whoa! My order is in. Nice. Nice. Little yes. did you know I claimed number this one. Is a, this is an interesting look, and I like it. I love all the descriptive stuff that they've included with this. Yeah, it's going to have great packaging. These guys always do the resealable clamshell, and uh, I'm a big fan of Castaway Toys. And to prove it, I'm going to show you something I bought from a long time ago. This is Fighting uh, Yank. 
Fighting Yank uh, is an old uh, AC Comics, America's ace right there. Uh, this, this was released back in 2005 in a limited run. And I have always liked this figure. It came with a comic book with Jack Kirby art. And that is Fighting Yank. Oh, you took it out. Oh, Dude, yeah. Cloth goods look really good on that one. Cloth goods. And, and the great thing bodies is they're very very uh flexible and they have better articulation than most eight inch figures what's the leg articulation is that a universal joint does uh does the hip go out to the side yes oh oh look at that yes full full van damnation right there yeah <laughs> so uh f uh, FTC and Mego could take a cue from these guys and uh, mm. use more castaway bodies. I, that that would make me happy. I'll tell you that. Yeah, I'm looking at their packaging on this uh, the Deal Maker, and it's reminiscent of Mego packaging. But yes, a little bit. But yeah, I gotta but it say looks... these cloth goods look better. But yeah, being as limited they're... as it is, and also this is a forty dollar figure vice uh, standard Mego price. Okay, so you get what you pay for. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You get what you pay for. Yeah. So uh, that's a creepy classic that Castaway Toys is bringing back for their 15th anniversary. And in association with uh, Castaway Toys, I'm very happy to uh, let our listeners watch and people who watch our podcast know that uh, they are doing a new toy company called Plastic Zombie Toys. And Plastic Zombie Toys are not only bringing back the first Castaway toy that I mentioned a moment ago, Undead Fred, but they're they're also showing us prototype uh, shots of other toys they're going to be releasing soon. That would include uh, the Mummy. He's yeah. going to be dragging himself from the tomb to to your toy shelf. I love the look of the Mummy. He looks fantastic. Uh, I love the look of you. Also see a prototype headshot of. The werewolf, that's an actual, they're, they're actually uh, going to have him colored with blue hair and green face, if I'm not mistaken. That's the werewolf? Yeah. That's a werewolf. I, I was, um, was, right. was going to ask you, who is this unimpressed monkey? I kind of <laughs> assumed it was just like a comic book version from Planet of the Apes. Oh, well, I'm, okay, you guys are looking at the wrong picture. So the, the one of the ape, the like man, the one of the ape man is... Uh, and and the werewolf there's there's two different pictures there uh the one of the eight man is going to be colored with blue hair i believe it was described by plastic uh zombie toys uh but that actual head sculpt that was used in a knockoff toy to mimic the the migo planet of the apes soldier ape figure way back in the day so what you're getting is with the with the ape figure uh, which we don't know what kind of uh, costume goods it's going to have yet, but you can see the face prototype. It's basically that one of the werewolf is going to be basically a uh, bringing back a classic that was done before. Lincoln Toys uh, made a series of knockoff, uh, wonderful uh, universal monster toys, werewolf being one of them. I see and, the feet for a werewolf, but I'm not seeing a werewolf head here. This this yeah, I, I, and yeah. That... There, there, there's, there's a werewolf head picture that I sent you. Uh, I'll if if you can't find send it, it I'll, I'll send it to you. Okay. Too. But, um, but he's um, he's got a big, huge grin on his face, and you can see his fangs as well. Um, I take so, it that's where the feet uh, come from too. I'm sorry. I take it that's where the feet pick come from. Came from. Yeah. Too? Oh, I yeah. Was like hey man, that stuff. comes from his OnlyFans. You calm down. <laughs> Yeah, the uh, the feet um, are hairy, are being described as hairy and scaly, and they feature an S-ball joint system for articulation and the easier removal. Yeah. So uh, these figures are going to be highly articulated, and I'm excited not only about the limited edition deal maker, but the the bog monster I haven't mentioned, uh, which is a which is a unique. Um, invention of plastic zombie toys the bog monster and undead fred are their concepts whereas the lincoln toy werewolf and the um and the uh, ape 
figure are basically they're bringing back classics from way back in the day in the 70s. And also, I should mention the mummy is their concept as well. That's their invention. That's their creative concept on the mummy. So I'm I'm very excited for those for those uh, five or six figures I mentioned there. And and I think uh, the way that they have had a history of releasing some fantastic figures, inclu including they they did so, they did a great um, phantom in the purple costume. Oh, the they were they, they released the phantom on his throne, and that is a highly collectible uh, item that it is hard to find by Castaway Toys, and I wish I had one, and I hope they do it again. So my plea to David and Jason is to please release the Phantom again on his throne. I do like the Phantom. That's one of my favorite characters. Yeah, I can't it, wait for it, those it, Defenders of the Earth figures. <laughs> yeah, Jason, you would love this figure on his throne. He oh, looks amazing. I'm a big Phantom fan, so, okay. Yeah. And also, in case we lose Bryce, at Plastic Zombie Toys is your shout-out this week as well. That is correct. Get yeah, they... Yeah, give them some love. They 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 make some great stuff, and they've been doing it for fifteen years. Cool. Yeah. All right. So that's Bryce's news for the week, and I hope we don't lose them. I hope we have them for the entire show. Nate, what are these pictures that you've sent over to us here? Well, I'm glad you asked. So uh, I guess we'll start with the good old fashioned McFarland toys going on right here. So there was a a little bit of a list. We already knew about it kind of from a leak list a while back, but now we're getting what looks to be uh, prototypes of some upcoming uh, McFarlane DC figures. From what I can tell from the list that I found, uh, we get photos of what looks like, ooh, not going in order, hold on. Oh, if you're trying to go on Facebook, they don't go in order. They just don't. No, they don't. Uh, it looks like we're don't. getting Dawnbreaker, Grim Knight, Devastator, Murder Machine, and Red Death. I couldn't tell you who any of those are except for Red Death. Because Red Death was the only one that slightly interests me because it was a mixture of, between like a Batman and a Flash. And I don't know the context behind them. I'm going to have to look I at these names so they match up. Anyway, go ahead. I don't read Batman comics. I just don't. So I don't know anything about like some of these newer sculpts. Now, I, like I said, I kind of pick and choose based off of what I see. So a lot of these I'm going to have to pass on. I, I think I'll probably get that like tactical look Batman that's going on there. That one looks pretty good. I think I'll get that one. Um, I am tempted with this giant hulking brick of a doomsday looking Batman. Like I think I want to keep, I want to have that one and keep them by my door. Cause if anyone breaks in, that thing's just going to knock somebody out. You can see the plastic there. It's got some sharp bits to it. Like, no one's breaking in when I have that figure. It's like if you have the Diamond Select Abomination. Like, that that thing is just meant to break heads. But then I'm it interested in... Looks great. Yeah, and then I'm interested in Red Death because I love Flash. He's one of my, he's my favorite DC superhero. So having, like, a Batman evil Flash figure looks just awesome. So I will go ahead and I'll probably pick that one up, but there's no idea of release dates. And these are probably prototypes, which means things can change at any time. So we have no earthly idea when that stuff's coming out. Uh, that said, we did get a pr pretty promotional pictures for the fan channel exclusive Mysterio on the retro carded pack. Uh, I, I was on the fence. I didn't know if I wanted to get this one. I think I will go ahead and get this one because he does have the lighter green. He has the gold. The helmet is actually foggy, so you don't have to see into it. So if you got the one with the green head, you don't have to worry about seeing the green head. The uh, suit has there's like a lot of a wash over it, too. Yeah, so it looks really good. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pick that one up because it, at first I thought to myself, I don't need a classic Mysterio because I already have the one that they gave us. But then in comparing the two Mysterios, the paint job on this one just looks so much better than the one that we got. So I think I will have to get this one. I'm not, like I said, I'm not a retro card collector. I just like the way that looks. So if I make a classic Spider-Man shelf, especially since uh, Toy Fair showed us we were getting a new classic Spider-Man, it, it's going to have to go up next to it. So I, I did go ahead and uh, place my pre-order for this one today. I mean, I don't even care if I get it first. Just knowing it would be on the way is all I need. So that one's nice. Yeah, it is. Uh, and that'll... It's very classic looking. Yeah, I'm very excited. I want to know what's going on underneath that helmet. I want to know if it's the same weird skull head sculpt. I'm pretty sure it is. There's no doubt in my mind, but 
I'm, I'm still curious, so I'm excited to get that I'm one. I'm kind of hoping for uh, a Quentin Beck hit, actually. <laughs> Jason, uh, I think we should talk about these uh, next couple ones together. All right, so uh, Star War, uh, Hasbro did do a kind of a... I guess a Force Friday thing. I don't know what. They, to... Yeah, they they wanted to do some kind of live stream that was like a fan event. It was a what they were calling thing. It. So yeah. Yeah. So you could go onto Facebook and watch their live stream. They basically were doing their new reveals, but none of this stuff comes out on Force Friday when it comes out next week, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but there, we did get some good looking at stuff. Uh, we'll alternate. Let's start with Troopers. Oh, these we'll look go, uh, so, these look so good. I'm we got I have we got troopers, new troopers. And the thing about stormtroopers is that articulation is not it's so great. Garbage. It is garbage. They cannot do a like hold the blaster with two hands. It is tough to pull off. This fixes these. They are done with new articulation, ball joints, butterfly joints. The I only thing that concerns me, and they did this a little while ago. They're sneaking in single jointed, uh, single jointed elbows and knees. Oh, that concerns me a little bit because I am so used to the double jointed stuff Hasbro gives us. But they've been saying that for a little while they were going to start sneaking in single jointed again. And here's the thing: I like double jointed, but the Knight of Ren figure that we got was also single jointed on both, and it had excellent articulation. If you look at the cuts in those elbows, you're going to get well past 90 on these new Stormtroopers to the point where they're holding those blasters. Same thing with the legs. So while I am uncomfortable with the fact that they are switching two single joints on both the knees and the elbows, you know, I, I think I'll be okay because they're doing that with a couple other ones as well. Well, they're re-releasing the Stormtroopers and also releasing mm-hmm. uh, new Clone Troopers as well with new articulation. And here's where we get into the fact the the army argument that I wanted to make because we got that Hydra soldier, what was it, fifteen bucks comes in a plain box. Do this with these, give me these clone troopers and these storm troopers, in a little, just throwaway box so I can army yeah. build. This is your army builder figure. Now they did say they were doing something like that very soon. So, but they never actually fully went into detail nope. about it, and they could scrap that at any moment. Because if we fall in love with these new stormtroopers, they probably won't do that unless they're going to do that with the old stormtrooper mold, because no. that's one way to keep getting more money out of those older molds. And with this clone trooper one, he does come with a um, a kind of a gray color scheme on him as well. Give me plain yeah, ones, does. just plain clone trooper, so I can get maybe four of them or whatever and have a little a little garrison so i like that they're doing uh, i'm i never like a company double dipping with a figure though but they're improving them so my argument yeah. gets hurt <laughs> well i'm gonna go into the next big one from the star wars one which is the two pack uh a while back we went into the fan vote which was what was the next marvel Le- uh marvel Legends, the new star wars black series figure that we wanted to get and while I did vote for Dagobah Luke, uh, it would have been nice to see some of the other figures that they had said on that list. But we are getting Dagobah Luke, and he looks great. He is another figure that they snuck in the single-jointed elbows and knees into. But, his, so he has, but that joint's good. No, it, it's got some good range. It's got a good head sculpt. Uh, the fact is, they also made it so that way it would be articulated enough that it could do a one-hand handstand, and I am 100% okay with it. I've already pre-ordered mine. One of the biggest things that they said was they couldn't do this character without a second character to go along with it, which, of course, was Yoda for the training scene, and they said they have completely him more size accurate. It is a brand-new sculpt for the body. So he is supposed to be a better size. He scales in the way he's supposed to scale in with these figures. My only concern is that while they did completely redo the body, it almost doesn't look like they redid the head. That head's a little big. But, you know, it's a puppet. So, I mean, I'm not really that. It's a different head, though, because I'm looking at my Yoda. And, well, mine's the old Yoda, too. I don't have the new one, so. I have the new one, and the new one looks identical. But here's the thing. I'm not saying that the sculpt is bad. 
I think it's fantastic and I'm excited for this Yoda, but I'm also wondering if it's going to be hurt articulation wise because of the new body being smaller. But you know, we'll have to wait until it gets here. Yeah, looks good. I like they're using the uh, bigger lightsaber with that too. The bigger lightsaber blades. Oh yeah, yeah I because like I found some of the old ones; they were super small. I like that Yoda. My my question is: I've seen different pictures where his eyes are open and his eyes are closed. They are coming with multiple head sculpts and multiple ha uh, hands, so Yoda will have both. Good. And I want to say it's it's just one head sculpt for Luke, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's but just he gets multiple pairs of hands, and Yoda has two head sculpts. Good. But they hid it within that package. They did a they did a sneaky sneak. Well, the other two pack is um, a couple of bounty hunters. Forlom. I won't be getting these, but man, I like them. Yeah, Forlom and Zuckus. I actually have them on my bounty hunter shelf, so there's no need to get these. They did say they were doing these a bit more to match the classic color scheme. And you can see that with the lighter brown they used on Zuckus and actually coloring in Forlom's eyes. So, yeah, if you missed out on these. He also has the red circle on his nose. They, they did exactly the old Kenner school, uh, old school paint. And chances are you may have missed out on a few of these because I don't think I saw Zuckus or Forlom on the shelf. And Zuckus... I got Forlom off the shelf. Okay. Um, Zuckus... I was one of those people that did. I found Zuckus I got when he was a Disney Store exclusive. Right, that's where I got him. Uh, yeah, Zuckus was Disney Store exclusive. That was back when I lived in Fort Worth. I managed to sneak in. Um, I actually have a horrific story about all of the Disney Store employees unfortunately making me participate in a game and sing to get my Zuckus. Oh, you're going to But I got my Zuckus, Zuckus. But you got it. <laughs> oh, no. Did you know if you're the first one there, they make you do an activity? No one makes me do anything. So, so I got I got to the I got Except to the Disney life. store right when they opened on the day they were releasing Zuckus because I knew I was gonna get my Zuckus. So I got there and the guy opened the door and went, "Oh, look at that! Well, you know we can't get in without the key, but we're gonna have to look for it. Where's the key? This man is like sixty five years old, and I'm sitting here just like an adult man going, "I'm not looking for a key." He's like, you got to look for it. And I'm like, I'm not participating. He's like, there it is. And then we had to come in. And he, he, once she brought out the giant ass key that they like to have on display, they were like, we got to put it in. But it doesn't work unless you sing the Mickey Mouse song. I was like, I'm not singing. And they were like, am I see? And then, of course, I was like, K-E-Y-M-O-U-C. <laughs> we opened up the doors. I was the only person at this building. First thing in the morning, not even a child was there. So I go inside. They're like, all right, cool. I was like, cool. Where's the Star Wars stuff? They're like, it's over there. It's like, thanks. No, <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> it's okay. They only gave me a souvenir Disney key to go home with as well. Oh, wait, you get a souvenir? Wait. Yeah, you got a, you got a souvenir. So I have the souvenir Disney key. I don't know where it is right now, but it's somewhere in the house. Like, my wife will not get rid of it because she loves that story. But... Yeah, I, I I do think that the these two packs with Zuckus and Forlom is cool. I, I like the idea because the original Kenner packages as well swapped the names originally on them. Yep. So Forlom and Zuckus were reversed, and they did that on these new re-release packages as well. They're named Forlom and Zuckus and reverse. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. I like the new color scheme. I honestly like the color scheme for this Zuckus better, but I you know the ones we have are more film accurate, and that's the one I'm gonna use. But man, they're cool. I but, wish I had that key that you have somewhere in your home, Nate, so we could use it on Jason's uh, uh, torso, so we could find his heart, so man. we could, uh, you know, get him to treat us nice every once in a while. Hey, you know, sometimes dental and a pension plan that really helps. I'm I'm like the Grinch. I'm down a size this year, and I'm keeping it off anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, so there, there were two more reveals that they did on the Star Wars panel. Well, technically there were a few more. I don't have pictures for them, so I'm just going to briefly go over it real quick. They do, they're doing a re-release for the Vintage Collection, which no one collects. Like, those things are always stacked at every place I go, while Black Series is unfortunately still there too. But 
I know they're redoing the Luke in Stormtrooper gear, and I know that they're doing the another version of the Boba Fett helmet that they've already released, but in all white. Um, I have no interest in either of those. I don't collect three quarter inch figures anymore, um, with like a few exceptions. Like if the Shaggy had been three quarter inch, I would have collected it, but very few exceptions. And I'm not collecting a prototype white helmet Boba Fett. It's just not happening. Although it was hilarious that he made his wife wear it. I kind of want the Boba Fett helmet, the one that's the actual colors. Yeah, I don't. I I do kind of, they started reselling some of the other helmets at uh, at GameStop, though, and I have been tempted to get that Star-Lord helmet. But uh, we are getting another retro carded figure. It's going to be the Han Solo and Carbonite. Uh, of course, it has zero articulation. Okay. <laughs> Look, this was Black Series day one right here at SDCC when they released that Boba Fett and this Carbonite block, and nobody could get that damn thing. And I, I have sought laughed. it for years. You know what, though? Going back, and it, when I was a kid, and I had the original Star Wars line, at least it had a clip on. Han Solo, that it was like you could, it was like a shell, and you would clip Han in it from from underneath. It was like just a little, like those plastic rings you would put over your finger, and you put it around the waist, and he would be held in there. And when they re-released Power of the Force, they replicated that. This is a block. Hey, it's just <laughs> straight up piece of plastic. And they created um, this damn thing. So there's two things that I find hilarious. One is, I, I read the comments as that live stream was going, and if you got past all the people whining about the vintage collection, people wanting it to be treated better, which I then responded with, stop whining about the vintage collection. Um, <laughs> the big one about this one, my favorite comment I read was, the people who spent all of their money on eBay for that SDC exclusive, <laughs> only for this thing to be re-released as a Boba Fett in a different line, and now this one, are shit in their pants and I, mean, I lost it i mean when did black series debut what was that uh were we six years into black series now it, it was a while back they introduced it back whenever they released the first uh the new movie the force awakens because number one in that line was ray no well okay no 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 no, no. no i'm sorry I, I, i'm the new version of black series okay, there, no, there is a number one black series. but like originally originally i don't know it's, it's been a while yeah so yeah i never got that figure but honestly i was kind of like i got the boba fett and i really didn't care about this this is being sold as an action figure at a 20 dollar point and it is no, literally no, no. A block. So here's the thing here's the thing from what i can tell Depending on where you get this, they may only be charging you ten dollars for it. Oh, well, I mean, it's it's still ten dollars for a block of plastic. Okay, I'll pay ten dollars for the block. I'll I pay will ten too. for the block. So, but it does make things a little easier for people who do do ten dollars, then they can get two of them. In. There you go. Yeah. So I yeah. I just I just have one pertinent question. Does Harrison Ford get residuals off a of plastic thing where you, where you can't barely make him out? You, hold on. No, no. That is his distinctive visage of... <laughs> it, I will say that this carbonite... This carbonite I on, see, did I nail it? Did I get it? Does come <laughs> with a stand. So you can display him either upright or floating. Oh, my God. I, I, I honestly, I never got that pack, and I didn't care. So long as I got the Boba Fett. So it's hard for me but, to give a damn about this non-articulated minimal paint. So I, I wasn't collecting back when they originally introduced that two-pack. So this is entirely new to me. When they played this up, I was like, oh, that's cool. I'll get that. I didn't realize that it was a San Diego Comic Con pack until that comment came up. And then I laughed. <laughs> but I will say that I will be getting this one. Um I, I mean, unless it's twenty dollars, and I'm not paying twenty dollars for a light paperweight. Good luck bleeping that out, Jason. I didn't mean to, but I guess I have to now. Thank you. Anyway, uh, so get this last one out of here. Of so course, we... the last one. I'll let you do it. I don't care. I don't no, care no, no, the about la- these versions. So carbonized. I don't care. Figures. The carbonized figures are popular. They went ahead and they've already shown us recently. 
say that the car- they're doing carbonized Boba Fett, which I have no interest in because I do not like the shiny material on what's supposed to be cloth. Mm-hmm. I like it when it's metal. So and that's one of my regrets of getting the carbonized Mandalorian and the second sister. I really wish I hadn't gotten either of those. But this one is Darth Vader, and they changed it up a little bit. So what they did was is they made him carbonized. They did the shiny material, but they they said <laughs> they said that there was no difference between making it overly glossy versus the matte version of the black. So what they did was they changed it to blue. So all of the other stuff is still black, but all the carbonized parts are going to be blue, and it does look nice. Uh, I say I won't get it, but then I'll come across it, and <laughs> I, I say I'll come across it, and I'll end up probably getting it. So who who knows? I I might get it. I might not get it. We'll see. It's blue, blue. Hey man, <laughs> if he was green, he would die. Why is he blue? I'm blue, da ba dee da That's all I learned about. <laughs> the first, I was like, well, I'm looking at it like, oh, carbonized vegan. And I just instantly go like. Jason, he's blue because he was blue in the holiday Christmas special. Oh, God. Oh, uh, okay. That's it. That's it. That's why uh, we don't talk about that, Bryce. We don't talk <laughs> about that. So if we go back into shared news that Jason and I were talking about, we have a Plunderlings update. Yay, Plunderlings. Plunder- has a factory, factory products now. They've got a well, stuff shipped over from China. It's on its way. They're looking good. They're looking good. Uh, I really would like my plunderlings. I don't want to. We're supposed to get them what next month officially. I'm hoping so because these are unpainted and they are they look better than protos. And, yeah, they're, uh, they're definitely protos. Uh, they are missing a few things on them. Obviously, like they're not. Uh, some of the characters don't have like you know, the jackets and whatnot, like they're supposed to, uh, like Ash. And I on it, it's been so long, I forgot which Plunderlings I ordered, but I still, every time I buy these, I still want to buy more Plunderlings, but I don't want to pay for more prices for Plunderlings. <laughs> so I'll have to see when I get them in hand before I do anything. But I'm excited because I do know I ordered Cheddar and I want Cheddar. I want my punk. Before I go into my uh, news of the week, I did want to share something with Bryce because yeah. there's the, you'll find some retro pictures in mine from uh, this week. Because searching the Bay of E, I ran across. Do you remember a little movie with Sylvester Stallone called Over the Top? Over the Top, yes. Why did I not <laughs> know until? Four days ago, they made over-the-top action figures with arm wrestling action. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't know those either until you showed me those in the chat. I had no idea either. I mean, I'm, I'm sitting just going, like, I was looking through some other stores, like, um, like what all is in that store to be sold. And I was like, what? Over-the-top? What? What? And they had everything, dude. There's a Facebook page for over the top rest uh, over the top arm wrestling action figures. There's a collector group and I am not ridiculing this in any way shape or form. I am intrigued and it makes me happy that I know this exists and also there is a following for it. I have to know more about this because I didn't know anything about this until an hour ago. They are passionate collectors and Damn it, I appreciate them just for existing. And this line exists. But yeah, I wanted to share that with you. And anybody that, oh, crap, we lost. Oh, anybody that doesn't know, Over the Top hello? was a film. Are you, hello, um, am I there? Yeah, you guys. I, we, you're, you're sideways, but we yeah. see you. And Over the Top, an arm wrestling film with Sylvester Stallone, and he's arm wrestling for his kid. Just, good Lord, it, it was an experience. I hope he's going to charge his phone and be back. Anyway. Uh, he may be gone, but while while we're here, uh, since we're talking, you know, we were talking plunderlings. Let's go to let's go to a little character known as a uh, known as Spawn here, in their Kickstarter. Oh, we're gonna finish with that. I wanted to go through my uh, my. Uh, oh, you wanted to finish with Spawn? Yeah, let's finish with Spawn because kudos. Okay, let's finish with Spawn. Okay then. So back to uh, my. Uh... I would like to, I'd like to start off with one thing before your news because it is a part of your news and I wasn't going to mention it until you had it in this, uh, until you had it here, and that's the Tamashi Nations Dragon Ball that they got going on here. Um, this new articulated line that they're coming up with here. 
so I, there's not enough information about it that I wasn't going to mention it, but they did put this tease and boy, did they take this photo down multiple times only to put him back up? He, oh, he left the right. Video. He's gone. <laughs> His phone's dead. But they took this photo down four times and reposted it four times throughout the day. So I saw this picture everywhere. And I that the I want to know more about this figure. It looks like it's got cloth goods on it. It looks like they probably have rubber overlays on top of the arms and most likely the legs as well. Like, I want to know more, but I just don't have enough information about it to be able to continue to talk about it. Uh, I was mainly putting it in just because it looks really good. Um, I don't know what to make of it just yet. I, I'm having to adjust the uh, screen now that Bryce is gone. So. <laughs> Uh, there we go. I fixed briefly it. cut here. I fixed it. So anyway. Okay. Um, yeah, they, it's called Insta uh, Imagination Works, but all they said was a new project is coming soon. Uh, I don't know anything about it, but if it's a reasonable price in comparison to what their normal figure arts are going to be. so we don't know so what the scale a, on this is either. Uh, I'm hoping it's a six inch scale. Yeah, because if, like, if it's like seven inch, for example, even if it's a different figure entirely. If it's a decent price, a different, a decent scale, then I will be in for this line. I just need to know more about it. If it's 112, I'm in. So, yeah, I just thought it would look cool. I want to throw it in there, especially with the uh, jointless system uh, that they're coming up I with. I mean, you can see some joints. You can see it in the neck. You can see it in the hips. But not in the arms. You can see it in, you can see it in the biceps. Uh, you can see it in the biceps, and you can see it in the wrist. But there, it's, there's something there, and I just don't know what it is. So it looks really good. I just wanted to cover that, and just uh, we'll wait for news on that. Yep. The All right, now you go. As long as I'm in Tomashi Nations, um, one game that I follow is Monster Hunter. So do I. I love Monster Hunter. And we got an SH Monster Arts Nakaruga. I don't know if I want it. It looks really good, and it is a lot of joints in there. Um, looks well, really yeah, good. Yeah, but... My, my issue is, is, even if they give me this fantastic looking beast here, am I going to get others? Because I know that briefly they made the, the little cat companions, uh, but I want like, they're called I want palicos. armored up. I, I know what they're called. I, I just, just like calling them want... palicos. <laughs> I call them cat companions. That's just what I call them. But like, I want like the armored up looks for the player. Technical so, yeah. difficulties all around, man. It happens. I would love to see more of the monster arts. I I, I want to see them, but I don't want to buy them. <laughs> That's the thing. That was how I felt when they introduced Godzilla monster arts. Like, I was completely interested in something like Godzilla, but then I got decently priced NECA Godzillas. But, like, when you compare, like, Shin versus his monster arts versus NECA, NECA, NECA clearly looks nice, but monster arts blows it out of the water. But I don't want to pay that much. So, Monster um, Arts gives me things like Ghidorah. I I don't know, I don't know. I I, I like the look of it, but it looks uh, pretty. And so moving on, uh, I did announce that they were going to be doing a, a new movie masterpiece series figure, and this one is MPM uh, X. I guess that's just ten. Uh, the Star Scream figure, and it looks really good. Comes it with a lot like of garbage. accessories. They did a very good reveal for this. Um, but they were wondering where it was going to be sold. And apparently it's showing up. It's going to be showing up at Target as well. But the other thing was while people were in there searching for this, they found a mysterious listing for another movie masterpiece figure at $150. But it didn't say what it was. And everyone is speculating that this one is Ratchet which will complete the uh, core team of Autobots from the first movie. But it was showing up, and I think I forgot to put the picture in there, but uh, it was you did. a mysterious, um, and it'll be in the chat. But it'll, it was, so I don't know. I'm really hoping that it's Ratchet, and we just haven't seen it yet. Uh, so For $150? I mean. That's about right. I know it's movie, I know it's movie masterpiece, so there, it's not like a $20 figure like you're getting from Hasbro. No. but I'm just wondering what it is. And I'm betting, I'm betting on Ratchet. I'm really hoping it's Ratchet. So, yeah. Uh, the other Transformer news I had was Fans Toys has uh, been killing it lately. They have just shown off their FT-44, which is their version of Astro Train, or as they're calling him, 
Thomas. <laughs> they are calling him Thomas because he is technically A-train. a tank engine. Um, sad news for Jason about this. As good as it looks, this sold out so quickly. So all the pre-orders are sold out. I still hope I'm going to be able to get it. It's definitely going to be a big figure. This is a triple changer. Uh, it looks really good. So yeah, fans. Yeah, you should move faster, man. Huh? It's it's GI Joe all over again. It's Snake Eyes. I just I I I don't typically pre-order a lot of fans toy stuff because I'll be honest, their transformations are a pain in the ass. So I don't, but yeah, see, it looks good. I may be getting this Astro Train when it comes out. I know there'll still be some available, but yeah. Um, they did uh, show off their tune. Uh, wait a minute, moving on to uh, what was I on? I was on Transformers. We're on Transformers. Getting off of Transformers for a second. Going to Nanaka. 3.75 inch figures. Um, I do like the Super Mini Pla Megazord kits that they make. I like building them. They recently showed off the one for uh, GoGo 5, or as we know it in the States, Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue. They showed the Mecha. They also showed the train from that series and the uh, um, solar Megazord that comes with it. But along yeah, with. How those, tall are these? At a three point seven, huh? What? These are three point uh, three quarter yeah, these inch. These are these are vintage collection size, but they showed off figures for GoGo Five or Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue, and these look really good. Um, I recently saw some that they released from Sun Vulcan, and it was a three figure set, and it runs <coughs> about ninety bucks for three figures. So you're looking at a little bit more for five figures, but it comes with a lot of different hands. A lot of different accessories. They look really good. This is not something I'm getting. But I, I would like to get this they, they, in the Lightning Collection. I'm I'm ready for Lightspeed. But I do love the appeal of having a team. You can just buy and you get <laughs> all the members right there. So that's kind of cool. Uh, moving on, let's see what else I got here. Tell me um, about these uh, Spider Man, Spider Gwen here. Oh, that is a Hot Toys figure. And we don't hot toys? that we don't typically talk about hot toys, but I do love me some Spider Verse and that Miles yeah, it was figure such they a good was movie. fantastic. Hey, this figure looks so good. Like this gives me hope for the uh, the upcoming Mayfex line that we're waiting on. I really hope they do all the characters from there. But uh, the Spider Gwen looks good. It also comes with the Spider Ham. It's non posable, but you can hear his voice coming from this figure, and I love it. What do you mean you can't hear pictures? I can hear this one. So yeah, I hear John Mulaney. We talk about hot toys. Uh, we we typically don't, but man, this looks good. I love Spider Verse. Uh, I need to get some figures from Spider Verse. So man, even I'm considering grabbing this one. So back to some NECA stuff. They did show us a uh, full-on image of everything we're getting in the Raff and trench coat and Casey Jones pack. You get all of Casey's uh, bats, his golf club, cricket bat. Hockey stick. I love this. I need it for my shelf. My growing movie turtles collection. It is a Walmart exclusive, and you read what NECA said, right? What was that? That there is no face sculpt underneath. Okay. Uh, they they could not get the likeness for the actor. He for some reason would not approve it. Like he <sighs> really? just yeah. Like they reached out to him. They tried to get a hold of him. He just did. He kept one no part of it. So we have Casey, but he's not coming. You're not going to get it off. There is no face. Uh, so yeah, don't don't peel it off. But I was wondering that's about the that. best case that you're going to get. All right. And the other one was uh, in their tune line. We are getting a metalhead figure. He's going to have some interchangeable hands, a lot of different accessories. I lo- metalhead was one of my favorite characters. Well, one of my favorite toys from the original Ninja Turtle line. So I'm Dude, happy to huge. see this. I love the uh, <coughs> interchangeable arms. He's got the, the vacuum cleaner because Donnie made him. Yeah, it looks looks really good. Um, another figure from, uh, my, my younger comic collecting days, it is a, uh, very nicely articulated and, uh, good looking lady death figure. Now, despite what you think about this character, this is a good, this is, this is 90s lady death right here. Uh, it looks like it jumped off of the page, comes with her sword, does kind of some flame effects. This is a new company, uh, Coffin Toys. Let me, let me make sure I have that up. Uh, it's coughing something, but um, 
the figure looks good. We don't have any release date information on this one, but it does look like something that I kind of want to add to my smash shelf. So yeah. Now getting back over to Storm Collectibles and my last bit of news. Now Ooh, I bought my boy. first Storm Collectibles figure and I really like it. But one of the series is, you got the nostalgia on here is Gotcha Man or Battle of the Planets. Call it whatever you will. I loved this show. And they have shown just a teaser image. It is not the figure, but it is of, uh, I forget, I, I think his name was Keith, because everybody was named Keith who was the leader. Um, the leader of the Gotcha Men. Oh my God, if they're really doing, I want them to look like that, because I have noticed that the Storm Collectible stuff, they look really muscular, okay? So they I, are bulky. I don't know if I want this for these characters. But I'm at. I mean, you're just gonna have to wait until they show it. I'm on wait and see for these, but man, oh, if you were gonna get me to buy something, five gotcha men uh, team members would be something I would spend some money on. Um, I I know they're gonna come with a bunch of accessories as they should, so I am on a hot standby for these figures. So that's all of my fig news for the week. And uh, I thought we could go ahead and just end it off with something that has been very successful and you finally got on board with. I, I did get on board. Uh, I got on board a couple of weeks ago. Um, no, you did not. Yeah, no, I did. It was a couple of weeks. It was a, you, it was a couple when, of weeks. When did you put your bid in? I, about two weeks ago. So about a couple of weeks. Mm. So Todd but, has here, no meaning here, for here's me what anymore. happened. Here's what happened. So originally I wasn't going to back it because I was just dead set on getting this new Mortal Kombat spawn figure originally. This is what I wanted to get. But what ended up happening was, boy, does Todd like giving updates. He is willing to tell you exactly what is happening with the factory settings. He's telling you exactly what's happening with the prototypes to the point where he showed a video. And my biggest concern of why I didn't want to get those figures was the articulation because the original scan didn't show me the articulation that I wanted. Not to mention that they were, had them like still tilted, like they did in the almost statue esque $20 stands that they used to do. I didn't yeah. want that. But, but in a video, he showed that you could still move it around because they're trying to practice a rubber overlay over the classic spawn, which is the only one I was really interested in. Which because I like we that. We are talking about McFarland's Kickstarter because see, he, he's cutting to his his reasoning why he didn't jump on board immediately. But I'm I'm sorry the the um it's good the updates that he has shown. He has been very involved oh, no. in this one. It's what convinced me to move over and back it. I'm glad that he was that, able to talk you into it then. Yeah, because he showed me, like, he finally got to show me parts of it. And one of the things that I was concerned about was also the biceps, because they showed no in that original video that they did. But in that updated video, he made sure to definitely point out where a bicep cut will be going, that there is an ab crunch, that it's a rubber overlay. But right now, if they can't figure out the over rubber overlay, they're going to remove it. And it's going to be just a solid tilted piece. I'm still concerned about that, but it was enough for me to just go ahead and say, whatever, I'm just going to back it. So I went ahead and I did classic spawn. And then today's update oh, got me to the... change my update again, just the classic spawn to a two pack. Now I, I, I would like to let Mr. McFarlane know I was on board day one, sir, me, Jason, the X, I was on board day one for all three figs. So, you know, we could probably get him for an interview. I would love to get him for an interview. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I was in for all three. But I got to say, like I said, this is a well-done Kickstarter. And kudos to Mr. McFarland <clears throat> for the updates and everything that also the add-ons that have just kept coming and coming and coming. This was originally, he only wanted $100,000 for this. We're up to We've what? reached two. How much is it now? Uh, I believe it's like $2.3 million. Or four rapidly, days left to go. Rapidly approaching 2.4 million. And yes, four days to go as of our recording. When this is up, it'll have a day to go. I'm curious to see what it's going to be at. But um, to give you an idea of like everything that we're getting extra, 
<clears throat> let's see. Um, for my three pack, you want to read them one by. You want to read the three pack, and I'll read the rest. I'm getting a gold colored signing plaque, a gold colored signature, uh, a certific certificate of authenticity, two. Uh, I'm sorry, three Necro Energy Blasts, uh, a full stamped comic book cover, an extra pair of hands to hold guns, extra pair of fist hands, three extra heads. I'm getting the exclusive gauntlet on one forearm, like the modern figure that we showed, the spiked boot, steel chains for the neck and waist, a Necro Sword weapon, and two other exclusive assault weapons. So, wow. Also, we were shown the folding cape on this one. They're, he's just there's the add-ons have been great. So you want to go with uh, so I think you're I, getting I, no not everything but everything else it's slightly different it's not exactly the same. Uh, but I I ordered the classic spawn and I went ahead and I picked up the modern spawn as well because my biggest concern was the the gross looking head I didn't want just that head. But as of today with classic spawn. You can get an attachable Necro Energy Burst for one hand. Um, and it should be noted that each Energy Burst is different for each figure. So not one is the same. If you get like all three, you're not going to get the exact same one. You are going to get different ones. Um, I'll be getting a foil stamp comic book cover, extra pair of hands to hold the gun, extra pair of fisted hands, an extra head of a painted screaming head, steel chains for the waist and neck, and an exclusive assault weapon, uh, which will only be for this figure. And then, of course, my modern spawn figure that I'm now getting is going to come with a different Neko Energy Brass, uh, another foil stamp comic, extra hands for guns, fists, an extra head of a painted human Al Simmons head, which means we're getting that one now. Once again, steel chain, exclusive launch, uh, launcher gun weapon, and then it shows that I'm just getting the spiked boot, not the gauntlet which I'm okay with. I like the boot more than I like the gauntlet. Who knows? He uh, might give you an update soon. If he breaks like 2.5. He 2. might. Uh, the artist proof spawn, which is just the one that's in gray, which I'm not getting, but you are, but you're getting a three pack anyway. This one comes with the, the necro blast, oil stamp, hands to hold guns, fist. Uh, this one's an extra head, but it's an unpainted screaming head. So it's the same as the classic spawn, it's extra head, but just unpainted. And then, of course, everything else is the same, except he's going to get an exclusive Necro sword. I, I got to say, like I said, congratulations. This is a very successful Kickstarter. And thank you, fans, for backing this thing, because they're the ones that made this happen. And, wow. Um, I mean, there's a part of me that goes, he has a working figure company right now. Does he need to do a Kickstarter? Probably not. But I think this is something special for the fans, remaking that first figure that he ever made. And mind you, I did have that figure. I don't have it anymore. I don't know where it got off to. Um, things I, I will up. say, uh, one of the things that I like, one of the updates that I also like is the, the cape's removable. It doesn't have to be on there, which is really cool. Um, I'm really looking forward to that removable cape. But to go on to why he did Kickstarter, it... At first, I was with everybody else wondering why a big company is doing Kickstarter. But then I realized one of the issues is because he said it in an interview. Uh, he said that he didn't want to have to do Kickstarter at first. He wanted to put them out mass retail with different companies. But none of the companies were saying yes to wanting to own Spawn figures. They were like, no, we don't want Spawns in our target. We don't want Spawn in Walmart. We don't want Spawn in GameStop, something like that. People just kept, they just kept saying, no, we don't want it. But he still wanted to do it because fans have been demanding for years that we get updated spawn figures even back when they were still doing the statues they wanted more of those but then we got the 22 point articulation system like with this spawn and this spawn is amazing like I, i'm not even a huge i didn't read a lot of spawn growing up i was a fan i just didn't read a lot of it and even i was dying desperately for a new spawn figure so when they announced this i went crazy but now i'm very excited for the classic look i'm very excited for this modern look I'm glad he did Kickstarter because it shows the demand is there. It yes. shows that people want, it shows people want that spawn. Like people want spawn figures and these retailers just made a huge mistake. I was adding him back in there. There we go. What's up, man? Uh, guys, you I heard your takeout was at the door and you decided you wanted to go eat instead of spend time with us. So. Guys, I, I couldn't stand your stench any longer. I had to go shower to get it off me. And 
I'm going to get you a that's, longer that's, cord for your phone. I got some around man, here. I now. took a sensual bubble bath that's today. It. All right. But I anyway, smell delightful. So back to, okay, like I said, uh, four days to go on this. I wonder what it's going to top out at. I'm very happy. Um, I think it'll hit three mil. I'm, I, I got some money to pay them this week, I tell you. Uh, but yeah. Oh, Tommy, yeah. yeah. Once, it, once it's done, we do have to pay. Yeah, it's, ah, it's, it's 189 I think, I'm it, with, with shipping and everything. Is I'm this 105 Oh, yeah. His, his uh, very successful Kickstarter, man. It's at like two point five million. Wow! And originally, they asked for a hundred thousand. Yeah, that's all he wanted—a hundred thousand. But the thing is, like I'm I said, a hundred of that. He has just been so good to giving back to the people. Like the first thing he did was lower the price of the figures. I think they were like what fifty, and he lowered them down to forty. I think they were. I think they were fifty. He lowered them by ten, and then he just keeps giving you more and more. Like, even now, like, I think one of the other benefits is if you get any of the figures with the assigned autograph, I didn't because, I, like I said, pla the, the plastic is just the garbage between me and the toy. So, me having an autograph is just a waste. He also but, showed off the packaging for this, and you're going to get this, even the people that are just getting single figures, it's going to come in yep. a pretty big package. So If you get the autograph, though, you'll get an extra weapon of the spike and the, the, the wooden plank with the nails coming out. Yeah, you'll I'm get getting that, that for my... Uh, with the top tier one. So um, just, I, I'm, I admire McFarland giving back like this. I, I really do. I will say Let's, these next two months are going to hurt the wallet. So he is at $2,379,000 with 16,737 backers with four days to go. I think he can make 2.5. I think he's going to hit three. You think all oh, all those last minute ones that happen? Uh, because he keeps putting out more and more updates. I think that by the end of this, he's going to hit three mil. Wow. Hmm. Is this going to change the way a lot of toy makers do the business in the future? I think it's going to make those companies listen to what the collectors are saying. Because, as I just told Jason. The reason he's doing Kickstarter is because he went to Target, he went to Walmart, he went to these big retailers and said, will you carry new Spawn figures? And they all said, no, we don't want them. No one's asking for them, which was a lie. Everybody has been asking for them for years now. And then he decided to just say, screw it. I'm going to do Kickstarter. If people want it, we'll make it. If people don't want it, there's no there's no loss on our end. And now here we are with 16,000 backers. Oh, $2.3 million and a $100,000 asking goal. And that's the thing he'll be able to take back to them. These people back this project with nothing seen, no prototype. It wasn't in their face on a shelf. And look how much money I made. Right. All they did was at Toy Fair show you the old school figure with no posability and say he was going to put posability in it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here we are. So I really hope that the pa the people making the purchases out there recognize there is a demand because if I'm Todd McFarlane, I'm strutting up in there, you know, like so. Y'all didn't want any spawn figures, huh? I'll but work yeah. on uh, getting up that interview with Todd. Yeah, we definitely do. get some swagger and go up in there. Y'all could have made this money. Hasbro Pulse, you could have made that money this weekend, but we can't because we found it, but still. <laughs> Hasbro gets the money. I'm hoping that Todd just goes up in there swinging, if you know what I'm saying, and tells them what's going on. Unzip, all he's got to do is unzip his pants and let it lay on the table. And you know what? Just go up in there with his phone. Let me show y'all my bank account right now. Yeah, right there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, above all, you're right. This, the, They need to look at this and take notice because with no product – Nothing shown, just a promise. He made it happen. So there, congratulations, Todd McFarlane. Yeah, I'd love to interview him for the show. So yeah, or if we actually make it out to SDCC, uh, go to one of his panels. So. Send him an email right other, now. I think odds are good you're going to see other uh, companies try this. Other other uh, other Kickstarters that uh, I think. We're going to see a lot more of that. Well, we've seen a number of successful action figure Kickstarters this year, especially two that I've backed. Backed Plunderlings, and I backed Action Force. Six right. Inch, 
military type figures, I gave them money easily and backed them, you know, for quite a bit. Plunderlings was a success as well. So there is a market yep. for these things. So I'm hoping that they get a better seat at the table, honestly, when it comes to negotiating this stuff. It's how much, look, my target has had Toy Story 4 stuff on the shelf since before the movie came out that's still there. You've got a collectible section. Put some actual collectible stuff in there. Yeah. So, yeah. You, yeah. Can, can you can you imagine if if somebody decided they wanted to do Star Wars in the retro cloth format, an eight inch There's a format? fan base for it. It doesn't need to be like with Marvel Legends with the amount that you put out and all the ones you're putting on the shelf. You could do it like those collectible sections we've seen now in Walmart. It's smaller quantity, but there's still people that are buying it. So, yeah. I think it would sell huge numbers if it was eight inch retro cloth. But, and some of these independent companies, they need a better seat at the table. And the, I mean, granted, we don't have toys. We put a bunch of toys out on the shelf, you know, and we get to go through and see these things that maybe we didn't see a commercial for or something. Ooh, but I like it. I'm going to get it. So, yeah. yeah. So Kickstarter has been successful for action figure companies this year. And I can't wait to see what else they're producing, especially after this one. Well, I'm hoping that someone will take the reins and decide to do Star Wars or Marvel in eight inch retro cloth. Well, don't they, they have those ones. I know about my daughter, the Ray. Yeah, well, but those aren't eight bigger. inch. Those are bigger. Those are way bigger. Way bigger. Yeah. So. Yeah. But market for those as well. So anyway, that is it for the show. Uh, we'll be back in two weeks. Uh, May the 4th was gonna, is going to be on Monday. I don't think we're getting any new Star Wars stuff, though, so it sucks. Anyway, uh, shout-outs for this week. Um, I had, uh, let's see, New Age on Instagram. Hang on. It was, damn it. Here, while you find yours, I'll do mine. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, mine is Plastic Zombie Toys, which uh, if you were listening earlier, you heard me talk about how good David Lee's uh, brand is, and it used to be Castaway Toys, and you can find him on Instagram at Plastic Zombie Toys, and he's also got a website that is Plastic Zombie Toys that will be having product available for sale on it soon. But check him out on Instagram, Plastic Zombie Toys. Cool, and my uh, shout out for this week is <clears throat> at New Collector Customs on Instagram. He does a lot of custom action figure work. His most recent one was a uh, cardiac from spider-man from the comics and it looks really good um he's done some great image work as well but check him out give him a follow and uh new collect you do some good custom work out there man that's why i'm recognizes you recognizing you this week so anyway that is it for us this week anybody got anything else that we may have missed i know nate doesn't have a shout out this week i ran out of people i actually follow that's that's a shame you need to expand your who you following then i know Anyway, uh, like I said, I can't wait to get some new stuff. Maybe we'll go out hunting some more. I'm betting by next show, the next wave of lightning collection, G.I. Joe, will be in my hands. Mark my words. And for me, no, because I'm not paying eBay prices. I'm not going to pay eBay prices. I'm going to find it. Watch. So anyway, guys, if you want to check us out, uh, of course, like this video, subscribe to the SCNS, SCNS YouTube channel. You can follow me over at at Jason X on Instagram and Twitter. You can follow me at Bryce Culver on Facebook and Instagram. And you can also find me uh, on Instagram under a toy page called Trap Door Toys. Check it out. You can find me on Instagram at The Near Plasma. We also have some other shows that are coming back, such as potentially anime TV, or we're going to have some news coming up to that as well. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so we're done this week. Always stop and smell the plastic. Get to collecting. We'll see you out there. Live long and prosper.